Hello, I'm back again. Um, I'm not going to use my stick blender to blend to emulsification. I am just using the whisk. So I'll just add my milk now to my oils, fat and butter. Because my recipe's been tracing so fast, I've decided to try this, which I used in the last soap that I made, and it worked really well for me. So we are at 28 degrees. If I let this sit, it will start to solidify because of um, the amount of hard oils that I use. So I'm just now going to pour my lye solution in. So Julie Fane from Ophelia's Soapery is where I first saw this method. And I've also seen Katie Carson from Royalty Soaps use it, I think, once. So the idea is just to whisk instead of blend. And I'll whisk for around about a minute just to make sure everything's really well mixed together. And I will still stick blend, but I'll stick blend each portion as I need it for, for my soap design. So it's now 38 degrees. It's heated up 10 degrees to since adding my lye solution, which was at room temperature. So that's the problem I've been having is that my batter's been getting quite hot and just thickening right up before I can do what I want to do with it. So I'm pouring off three portions for a mini drop swirl. And I'll give these a blend with a stick blender when I need to use them. I didn't tell you the colours, sorry. The green is synthetic green mica from Bath Bomb World mixed with a little bit of Emerald City from Bath Bomb World. I'm going for Christmas green. I'm not sure if I've achieved it, but it's the closest I can get. And the red is red synthetic mica from Bath Bomb World as well. And then my white. I'm trying to get a head start on my Christmas soaps here, obviously. My white's got some titanium dioxide mixed with water in there. And of course this is going to get a stick blend. So I'm just going to add my fragrance oil to the rest of my batter. My fragrance oil is Ginger Snap from Brambleberry. They don't actually make this anymore and I got it from Aussie Soap Supplies in Australia where you can still purchase it but on Brambleberry site I couldn't find it. It is um, body safe, but it's not in Brambleberry's fragrance calculator anymore, which is really a pain in the butt. So I'm being quite conservative with how much I add. Just because through all my searching on the internet, I cannot find a usage rate for it. So to this, I am going to add a little bit of chestnut mica. This will discolour anyway to a dark brown. I think it had nearly 5% vanilla. But just for the purpose of the video, I thought I'd just add a little bit of chestnut just so we can get an idea of what it will look like after it's cured. So I'll blend this up.
So that there is well blended now. I'm going to pour it into my mould. And it's staying beautiful and fluid for me with this new method of using the whisk. This fragrance smells so good that I think I could just eat it. it smells exactly like um, ginger snap biscuits. So a very quick stick blend for each of these and then I'll be doing a mini drop swirl. Let's start with the white. I'll just squeeze to make a little spout here and a mini drop swell so I'm not going to pour it from up too high. So I'll just bang this on the ground to level it out a little bit. My little apprentice here has pointed out that it's higher on each end. Got my kebab stick. We'll leave it at that. I'll bring you down for a look. So what we have tomorrow when I cut it. Okay, ready to cut my ginger snap soap. I just poured some hot water on the top. I had a bit of soda ash. So that's just cleared that up a bit for me. Here's the side. We'll just cut this and see how well the mini drop swirl worked.
Oh, that's so cute. That worked really well. Very happy. <laughs> Here's another one. So I'm not sure whether to put, um, I've got a little house stamp and I wasn't sure whether to put the house stamp on here um, to make it sort of represent a gingerbread house, which is really, you know, what what is a bit more Christmassy. I know in Australia we often make um, gingerbread houses or the kids do it's a little Christmas activity or whether to just leave it like that so I'll have a little think about it I do like it just like that though I love that mini drop swirl that's cute I'm so happy it worked out So I've still got a few more Christmas soaps to make. I've made a few that I didn't video, but I do still have a few more to make as well. So I've got to think today how I'm going to design those. But very pleased with this one. So thanks for joining me again. Hopefully I'll be making a couple more videos in the next few days and then I'm going to be going away for a few days to visit my daughter and my family. So I won't be doing anything. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and thanks for joining me again.